If you have experiences using React, you don't have to learn Vue.js from scratch like everyone else. You can leverage your React experiences to expedite your Vue.js learning progress. Welcome to Vue.js for React Devs. This is a pair of courses designed specifically for React developers who want to learn Vue.js efficiently. Vue and React are very similar because they solve the same problem. Single page app development with stateful components that are powered by virtual DOM. These two technologies are also very different because they solve the problem in different ways. That's why we've divided this learning journey into two courses. Part one is about the similarities and part two is about the differences. In this course about similarities between React and Vue, we'll start with the Vue.js basics where you'll find that most of the concepts are indeed similar to their React equivalent. Once you're done with this course, you can immediately jump into part two to explore the differences. Then you'll be able to take everything you've learned and start building production-grade Vue.js applications. Throughout the two courses, we'll be building this product app. It's a single page app that shows a product, which you select a color variant you want by hovering one of these circles. It could be out of stock for the color you're interested, in which case the add to cart button will not work. But if the color variant is available, you will be able to add it to the cart. The cart number will get updated. Additionally, you can also add reviews to the product page by using the form. And here's a review we just added. All of these features are implemented on the front end with Vue.js. There are two ways you can follow along. You can follow the lessons step by step to build the app from scratch. You can also clone the GitHub repo for the app and check out the branches for the lessons you're working on. If that sounds good to you, let's go to the next lesson where we'll start building the app. When it comes to creating a new app, you will normally use a CLI tool to generate the new app. And it's the same with Vue.js. We'll use the official Vue.js CLI called CreateView. This is the Vue.js equivalent of Create React App. MPX, CreateView, and the name of the app. We'll go through a series of questions asked by CreateView. I'm just going to choose no for all of them, but I do want to briefly go over some of these options. JSX support, view router, and Pinair. Although JSX support is available for Vue.js, the standard way to write a Vue.js component is still using the Vue.js template syntax. You can use view router for routing, and you can use Pinair for state management. But this course is going to be about the core Vue.js features. So we won't get into Vue Router or Pinier here. You can check out the Vue Mastery courses on these topics. After generating the app folder, we have to install the packages. And finally, start the server. You've probably noticed that the server got ready pretty quick. That's because the app is powered by Vite.js instead of Webpack. The main feature of Vite is performance. The default port is 5173. You should see a welcome page like this. Next, let's cover a few important things inside a project directory. Just like in a Create React app project, SRC is where you would put most of the code for the app such as components and assets. There's a main JS file acting as the starting point for the app where it will mount the app component. Index.html is where the app component will be mounted on. In package.json, you can see that the dependencies of this project are simple. It's basically just view and vite, and a vite plugin for view to make them work together. Although CreateView is the current official Vue.js CLI, it came out in 2021. For years, Vue.js developers have been using another CLI tool called Vue CLI, 
there are still many projects out there that were created with this older CLI tool. The biggest technical difference is that one is based on Webpack while the other one is based on Beat. So when you start the development server with the Vue CLI app, you will feel noticeably slower. If you want to learn more about why Vite is so fast, you should check out Lightning Fast Built with Vite, taught by Evan Yo, the creator of Vue.js and Vite.js. Although we're going to develop this app from scratch, we still need some assets for the look and feel of the app. First, you would want to remove all the default files in the assets folder. And then you can get the new files from the GitHub repo for this course. Download and put them in the assets folder. Now we're ready to move on to the next lesson where we'll create our first Vue.js component. <laughs>